What is going on, my fine people? Final 1721 checking back in. Here to give you guys another dope video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at an upcoming Air Jordan slated for release March 28th. This joint right here is a highly anticipated sneaker. Don't know if that's because it hasn't released in a long time or we're just dealing with tax season for 2020. The label reads Air Jordan 5 Retro, True White, Fire Red, and Black. Suggested retail is $200. We have that standard OG5 box, Jumpman on the top, lift up lid. We got the cement on the base and also have that Nike Air on the front. We got a lot number on the side of the lid, a quality control stamp on the other. Uh, standard trash bag, wrapping paper. Oh, one more note, it does have that green and white sticker inside of the box as well. Okay, that's a wrap for the retail packaging. Now let's get into the shoe. Personal opinion, this is probably one of the best fives to ever release. It's right up there with the metallic fives, both grapes, the black and white, and maybe the Laney's. Uh, taking a look at the uppers, they kept it super clean with a very, very slight tumble to it. It's definitely softer than it looks. Because the shoe tree is still in place, I can't really push in the leather, but just to the touch, I can tell that it does have some give to it. Once you get the shoe in hand, you will notice what I'm talking about. It might look stiff, like, like a pair of reverse breads, but trust me, it doesn't feel that way at all. A couple of years back, we did get another Fire Red Jordan 5. That release had a two-tone midsole um, using red and black, and I believe it had a 2-3 stitched on the heel. This release comes in true OG fashion, solid black midsole, no 2-3 on the heel. The original launch of these didn't have 2-3 stitched on the heel. And speaking of heel tabs, let's go ahead and flip this around to the back. Got that Nike Air OG branding. This is probably the real reason why we buying it. Nah, matter of fact, I'm lying. Tax season might be the key factor why everyone will be out trying to buy this shoe. Heading over to the front of the shoe now, we got Nike Brandon sitting atop the push pin lace lock, full 3M tongue sitting behind the red Jumpman. We got a cardboard insert, I'm guessing to stop the red sock liner from bleeding onto the tongue and the shoestrings. Uh, they used to use paper for retro fives back in the day, but for 2020, Nike has been really, really paying attention to detail and stepping up the materials and the packaging. I can't front. Quick look at the inside of the shoe. Air Jordan branding stitched upside down as usual. All black insole with the white Nike Air branding stamped on the top. Taking a quick look at the outsoles, more Nike branding. Clear icy blue soles with herringbone traction with the fire red Jumpman in the forefoot. Quick 180 look of the shoe. I definitely can confirm I don't see any glue stains around the midsole. This joint is constructed very well. I must say for 2020, it seems like Nike is really taking quality control very, very seriously. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. <coughs> I like this. Uh, real quick, one thing of note that I just peeped, they placed a creamy air unit inside of the midsole. It gives it a sense of nostalgia, like it seems like it aged already. Definitely works. A uh, quick rundown of the other shoe, just checking to see if this one has any imperfections, and I must say I don't see any. This one does have a slightly more tumbled appearance. Just to show you what I meant by slightly more tumbled, as you can see, the heel of the left shoe has some pre-creasing going on, which is a welcome sight because it shows you the shoe is actually way softer than it looks. The quality control is so on point. I don't see any glue stains on this shoe either. Uh, paint strokes look good. Nothing is bleeding over on panels where it doesn't belong. Nike has been on point for 2020. So that about wraps it up for the review of the Air Jordan 5 OG Fire Red. If you are a fan of these joints and you want to put them in a collection, you can do so. Head over to finelive1721.com. These are shipping out now before the launch date of March 28th. And for those that were on the fence about this shoe, which I wouldn't know why you would be, but if you were, I hope this review helped you out. And if this pushed you toward, man, I need these in the collection. As stated before, they are shipping out now on finelive1721.com. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram, follow me on twitter both handles are the same fine line 1721 and until the next video you guys already know what to do be smooth enjoy life bless up